When you look back at your wedding and your wedding guest list, what do you think the percentage of people was that you really, truly wanted there as opposed to the ones that you felt obligated to or there was some kind of political reason they had to be there? I feel like you run into this problem more when if you get married younger than if you get married older and also depending on who's paying for the wedding. Because your parents can have a lot of influence as to who's on that guest list. Right. Whereas for Bart and I, we just got married five years ago, so we were both older. Um, we we pretty much handpicked our guest list. Did you? Yeah. Um, in this email here, she's wondering if she has to or she can uninvite her ex-boss, right? Because I think she invited him when she was working for him or her and then left the job and is wondering, can I just tell the boss that, look, you're really not invited. I was just doing it because we were working together. That's a bold move to uninvite somebody to your wedding. (laughs) So if you got something going on in your life like this and you want to share it with us, we'd love to share it with Burt Show fam around the country, get you some some advice. Hit us up at thebirdshow.com. Cassie has the email. Hey, Bercho, big fan and daily listener here. I always love your input on people's personal problems, so I figured you may be able to help me out. Is it ever acceptable to uninvite someone to your wedding? Every wedding etiquette site says no way, but hear me out. Wait a minute, let's hold it. So she Googled it. (laughs) Literally every single website (laughs) said don't do it. But she's still looking for a way out, so she came to us. Yeah, if if we don't give her the answer she wants, she will then email Jade and Mo later in the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she will hit uh, Ryan Seacrest. She will hit Bobby Bones. She will hit them all until she gets the right answer. My team at work is very small. It consists of me, two women who are close in age to me, young, no kids, etc., and our boss, who is a typical middle-aged parent type. We all work closely every day, and I've become good friends with the other two women since joining the team last fall. I'm getting married in August, and inviting them was a no-brainer. Now, I never disliked my boss per se, but it definitely isn't the kind of close relationship I have with our other teammates. I decided it would be too awkward to invite just two-thirds of our (laughs) small team, so while I was indifferent about him being there, he also received a save the date. (laughs) Formal invitations are set to go out next month. But then a few weeks ago, my boss left the company. Now, I'm the first one to say you should always do what's best for yourself. But at the end of the day, a job is just a job and your company ultimately sees you as a replaceable asset. But there is still a right way to do things. Not only did he leave our team, especially me, in a really bad spot, but he made several comments over his last few days that really rubbed me the wrong way and shed a different light on our working relationship. Without going into too much detail, let's just say I do not want him at my wedding. My fiancé and I are paying for a, for a lot ourselves and have had to be relatively selective with our guest list to manage costs. Even just the thought of paying 100 bucks plus for both him and his wife to attend makes me mad. I still feel very burned at the way he handled things, and I don't want to risk those feelings tainting such a special moment in our lives. So can I uninvite him? Inviting him was a courtesy to begin with, and now I really don't want him there. (laughs) I don't want to burn bridges, although I would never work with or for him again. There's always a chance that he could spread negative things about me to someone I could potentially cross paths with in the future. My fiancé says, just don't send him the formal invitation and he'll get the hint, but I'm not so sure about that. There's enough stress and drama that already comes with the wedding, and I don't want this to be another thing to deal with and would rather make it clear than worry he's just going to show up out of the blue. Or do I just suck it up and deal with him being there? Thanks in advance for the help. All right, you guys want in on this? one 855 This is complicated because in a lot of cases, your wedding guests are like strategic alliances. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked I feel this way, but don't send him an invitation. Mm-mm. I really firmly believe that. Like, especially hearing the circumstances of how he left and that, you know, the cost is going to cost you to have him there and you don't want him there. You sent a save a save a date, but a save the date is not an invitation. So he left. Don't send him an invitation. I'm actually, I'm okay with that. I'm with you also. It happened to somebody here. They got to save a date and then they never got an invitation. So they didn't go to the wedding. Right. Yeah, I, I 100% agree. This would be a no-brainer for me. I would completely not send him an invitation. I think the problem is she's worried about burning bridges, but... That's, if he does spread rumors or do whatever he's going to do with it, then you just got to live with that. But I would completely not have him there if that's my day. My, the only concern I have here business-wise is I feel like every industry are large, small industries. Uh-huh. So it doesn't even matter how large it is. 
People get reputations. They talk, you know. So if she's got another lo- job lined up, and I'm just playing devil's advocate with you guys because I wouldn't send him an invite either. Um, but it could affect her in the long run. Dude starts, it if might. he's heard about it, and starts talking crap about her to somebody else in the industry that might that might hire her. Yeah, but I, you know what? When you're weighing both, I think it's more important to be 100% authentic and happy on your wedding day. But this is personal. This is not business. So anybody that would hold this against you... Do you really want to work for them anyway? Nope. No, probably not. <laughs> She's worried he's going to like spread it to people she yeah, might yeah, work yeah. for, though. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying, though. But even those people, like um, the, the saying goes, what somebody says about somebody else speaks volumes about them, yeah. not the person they're talking about. Right. I wish more people knew that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the truth. 100% right. the truth. The Burt Show. Hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Burt Show for free, we drop new podcasts every weekday. And you can find us anywhere, Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.